Warp Toy, Ray Haycraft here with Courage, my love. We've got Mercedes here. How has your Warped been so far? Uh, it's been great so far. Like a lot of adventures and uh, stuff like that. Uh, but it's it's just starting at the same time. So we've got a lot of more tour left. So we were just discussing the apocalyptic storm that just happened and then yeah. decided that it was done with us. But luckily, <laughs> you all had already played. Yeah. How did the set go? So the set was really good. Um, it was really hot. So we still had like a ton of sun at that point. Crowd was into it. We don't get to come through here as often as I'd like. So it's really great to kind of hang out with the fans that we haven't seen in a couple of years and stuff. Yeah, it was good vibes for sure. What uh, so you all just dropped a new album a couple of months ago? Yeah, and how much of that are you able to play during such a you know the warped set sets are short, twenty five yeah. minutes, thirty minutes. Yeah, how much are you able to play from that album? So like we're dedicating, we're playing a lot of new stuff on this tour just because um, yeah the, the sets are a little shorter than normal, but uh, we still throw some oldies in there you know just because people who haven't seen us for a while might want to hear some of those songs too but it's mostly new stuff so it's fun for us to get to do that what's the reaction been so far since the album dropped in it was february correct yeah yeah that's right i got confused sometimes because it was february and then it just came out in europe like in may so we're like ah oh, i don't know but, <laughs> um it was it's been good like it's it's uh already opened some doors for us in terms of tours and stuff that we get to do which is great i think the fans are relating a lot to these songs that we just wrote um they're a little more personal i mean at least for me that's how i feel they're kind of personal and they we dug a little deeper for these lyrics and stuff and i think it paid off in the sense that a lot of other people can relate to them as well so i've had some great conversations about that sort of stuff so musically you've talked a little bit about like how it's a little more eclectic and you all have you know explored and you know yeah. felt your way around so yeah. tell me a little bit about that like the evolution that's come about this album sure yeah i mean it's definitely different from what we would normally do and i think that's a good thing like we took a lot of time to write this album and in the studio sort of fixing songs and kind of re-recording them a bunch of times and um, we just wanted to release something really solid that we were proud of and we wanted to be outside of the box we didn't want to kind of release the same type of music over right. and over so yeah we were a little nervous before it came out because it's kind of <laughs> risky we weren't sure if you know everyone was gonna dig it or not but i think the risk paid off and i'm really proud of the songs for sure i mean i love it thanks I, yeah. <laughs> so musically you all were you know kind of feeling out what was the possibilities it felt like yeah and then lyrically like you were saying earlier like it feels so much more i don't say more personal because your lyrics have always been very soul right. bearing you know but yeah. this felt like you were digging into a place that you all were discovering it like with the audience yeah for sure that's a great way to put it actually like um yeah i i think the reason that this album maybe feels a little different also is because the three of us in our personal lives were all going through a really rough time when we wrote it and um it lasted for like a year where we we're all just like super depressed and really down and uh, you know Look you write back. your best stuff man, exactly you know? like you know <laughs> it's i'm kind of happy that it worked out that way because uh i always feel way more creative when i'm in down in the dumps or when i'm feeling sad uh, for whatever reason i think it just brings everything closer to the surface so um you know it had its silver lining at the end of the day and i think the album came out sounding you can hear like each of our personalities on it a little bit what song would you say is the one you're most emotionally tied to at this moment? Right now, um, I think maybe Need Someone is the one that I feel really drawn to. We just released a music video for it. Um, Which is gorgeous. Thank you, I appreciate that. Yeah, it was kind of uh, intense to film because normally with all our videos, we have like a concept that's very sort of artsy or we have some sort of I don't know something cool to look at but with this one it's just our faces nothing else and so we were kind of like ah oh, like I hope it looks good but I'm really proud of it at the end of the day because we were all just like we've been talking about the emotions were just like really close to the surface so I'm really proud of that song for sure how do you you know translate such a you know, musically 
into a visual medium. You know, that's something that a lot of artists struggle with. Um, yeah. Is that something you will have a lot of control over or do you kind of hand it off to a director to kind of interpret? Like in the past, we would just sort of be like, well, let's see what the director says. But for this album, we've been a lot more hands-on with sort of the concepts and the videos and everything like that. Um, because we really wanted everything to tie together and you know I designed the album art hells yeah and I I didn't like I didn't actually make the album art but I designed the concept for it um, still cool you know <laughs> it's cool it's stuff like that and we we came up with the concept for the both videos so far and uh, I just think with this one it, it came a lot easier because as we were writing the songs we sort of had this imagery in our heads already and that's another reason why we called the album synesthesia because mm -hmm. it's it's a very like visual but also musical sort of thing and and i think it ties that whole analogy together pretty well mm. No, I mean, I think it's a perfect description of exactly oh, what it is. And yeah. even the, the music video you're talking about, like, Need Somebody, you, it's such a, it's a colorful interpretation of, like, what I would imagine it would look like. In, yeah, you know, in, <laughs> in the for ritual. sure. Like, because we, because we, it's kind of a, a bold name, and we want at least the art or, like, the visuals for it to do the name justice, and, mm -hmm. um, it all has to tie together at the end of the day to become one piece of work. So we were very conscious of that, and we're releasing a new video pretty soon that I'm really Ooh. excited for. Like, can you tell us some secrets? Yeah, I can tell you that we filmed it in Paris on our last tour, so that already I'm really excited for, because up until now, all our videos we filmed in Canada, so I think it has a little bit of a different vibe. And it's sort of creepy like horror base yeah. which is sick because that's my jam love horror movies and stuff so yeah it's <laughs> <laughs> awesome that's pretty much it though i'm not going to give away too much more okay i'll take i'll take that nugget <laughs> and hold it close thanks for a little while um i totally had another thought with that but i'm totally well, you're talking <laughs> about okay. your previous tours yeah so you all have been around the world yeah like, tell us crazy a, a story something awesome that's happened on your last tour or this tour well i mean the european tour was great it was our second time being there so we'd already made a couple friends over there and seen some cool sites we did most of the touristy stuff on our first tour over there like the eiffel tower and stuff like that you gotta do it you gotta do it did you take a picture with like trying to hold uh, oh, I should have done that. Like, I was just Next so time. excited, and there's so many people around. We finally got our opening, and Phoenix and I were just like, yeah! Like, just, <laughs> we didn't really plan it out too well. But um, uh, this time around, I, uh, we uh, got to see a little bit more of, like, the real UK and the real parts of mm -hmm. Europe, like small hole-in-the-wall restaurants, and, and yeah, you know, just stuff like that. And I think I got a really kind of gritty experience, which is nice. That's awesome. <laughs> and that's what you that's what you want to experience because that's what you're going to remember. It's like, you know, yeah. I really experience what it's like to, yeah, to be here. Yeah, for or, sure. Well, we had like a couple of days off in Italy where we were just exploring really late at night. So the streets were completely empty and it just had a really cool vibe. I would love to go back and just try and like write a song or film a video there or something. It would be great. But it was just a really artsy sort of cool vibe. I liked it. Well, it brings me to another like observation about you all is that everything feels like a cohesive piece of art. Like oh, that's thanks. what you want to. It seems like that's what you want to put out is like, mm -hmm. all right, this is a piece. It is all encompassing. Like, and you seem very, very influenced by you know major artists. And yeah. You talked about Escher some. And yeah, like that's he inspired. Like he has a piece of work that is two heads they're looking towards each other and it's a man and a woman and that's sort of what inspired me for the cover mm -hmm. of synesthesia instead i i mean i'm i don't want to say i ripped it off but it's heavily inspired by that art inspired piece by, very that heavily thing. inspired by <laughs> um and so instead i just decided it would be cooler if the faces were phoenix and my faces mm -hmm. but we wanted to white out the eyes just because we didn't want it to be too recognizable i we wanted like our fans to sort of see just a generic female, but 
we're gonna have female faces, it may as well. It might as well be the two females and Dan, whatever. Yeah, you know, <laughs> like you do. But yeah, we we're very into, especially this time around, very into the artistic side of it and the um, visual side of it. And uh, I'm glad that you described it as a cohesive piece of art because that's that's how I feel about it. But I. Uh, feels kind of pretentious to be like it's a big yeah, art. I was an art major in you know. art history. Like, there, so you I, get I got it. You. Yeah, <laughs> it's all good. I'm you like, understand. I see what you do in there. <laughs> I like it. Cool. I'm glad that I'm glad that it comes off that way. <laughs> so, are there any other words of wisdom you would like to impart upon our fans? Yeah, I just want to say um, thank you for if you're watching this right now. You're obviously uh, very passionate about music and you're keeping the music industry alive, and that's very important at a time like right now because I definitely think that art is something that unites and keeps everyone together it's something we can all relate to as a species on this planet so um, thank you for doing that if you're an artist or if you have anything that you want to put out in the world just do it do it and uh, you know don't let your dreams be dreams <laughs> you know it's you get out of life what you put into it so just put in as much as you possibly can well said thanks <laughs> well thank you so much for taking time with us and thank i'm you. glad that you survived the apocalypse yeah you know i <laughs> i thought i was gonna shower later but i got a shower early so that's all that good is warped, uh, good to you <laughs> yeah thank you warp tour thank you charlotte <laughs>